Okay, so what I want to do is verify the empirical rule of a normal distribution, but I'm going to use my calculator to, to show that to you guys. And so if I hit second um, vars, that pulls up the distribution distribution uh, menu, and I'm going to choose normal cumulative distribution function. Now what this does is if I know the z-score, for example, uh, let's prove uh, the empirical rule. So to prove the empirical rule, I'm going to have my lower z-score at negative 1. All right, and then I'm going to choose an upper Z score of a positive one. For a normal distribution curve, uh, mu is the mean, but we'll just leave this at zero, and then my standard deviation is one. If I paste this function in, what I have here is I have the lower Z score, which is negative one, the uh, higher or upper z-score, sometimes we call this the left z-score and the right z-score, the mean, which is mu, and then the standard deviation is 1. And so we'll hit enter, and then I get 68.68, uh, .68, which is actually 68%. Uh, so now, according to the empirical rule, if I were to do two standard deviations or a z-score from negative 2 to positive 2, I should get around 95%. So let's double check that. Again, I'm going to hit second vars to pull up this distribution. I want to do the normal cumulative distribution function. Hit enter. Now I'm going to change this to negative 2. That's my lower z-score to positive 2, which is my upper z-score, and this is an approximation by the way, mean is 0 and then the standard deviation is 1, and we'll do this, boom, 95% roughly. Okay, And then again if they tell us uh, from 3 to uh, 3, then we would get 99.7%. Um, so let's try that again real quick. Whoops, wrong button, second vars. And I'm going to go down to the normal cumulative distribution. And I'm going to put negative 3 to positive 3. Enter, 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 enter. And 99.7. Now, just in case you forget that, and I, I made a video that, that shows this before. If I just before I select the program that I want to run, if I hit the plus button, that pulls up the help menu, and that lets me know that I have a lower uh, bound, an upper bound, and these are based on z-scores, and then I have the mean and the standard deviation. And this would work the same if I had some numbers that I was working with as well. Okay, so that's it, the normal cumulative distribution function.